Welcome to a new video of a Trimble Virtual World. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a volume calculation uh, using Trimble Access. Uh, so first, I will as well show you how to create uh, your own world with a couple of stockpiles. So I'm going to import uh, some stockpiles that I have created and I'm going to place it in the scene. Uh, so the idea is really like bring a, a simple one and start to build a more complex one. In another video as well, I will show you how to, I created this uh, stockpile using uh, SketchUp and imported them into the uh, virtual world. Okay, so I have created uh, my uh, quest with a couple of stockpiles. Now I have connected as well um, to the Trimble Access. And as you can see, so I'm going to use a side-by-side -side Trimble Access and the virtual world. So obviously first I need to install uh, my control point and I'm going to use um, a very simple uh, scale one uh, project for that. So I installed my control point, I'm going to place my favorite SX12 over um, one of the pegs and so I'm going to do my first station setup. And so I'm going to do my backside now and I'm going to use a zero azimuth um, because we are really on the local, I don't need anything really uh, reference and I'm going just to uh, start uh, capturing some points around the stockpile. So now that I, I have completed my uh, station setup, I'm going to start to do a bit of topographic survey. And uh, when I do a topographic survey around the stockpile, I always start by uh, capturing the base of the stockpile and after I will make my way up the stockpile. So as you can see I cannot uh, measure behind the stockpile, my rod is way too small compared to uh, this stockpile, so I will have to do a second station setup once I have captured all the points I wanted. And I'm going to uh, just fill up a few of the gap. So um, now I'm moving around the uh, stockpile and I'm setting up on the next point and this is just to fill up the gap uh, behind that to give a bit more detail. And uh, from this I'm going to use the new uh, selection tool so to, uh, cap to uh, just select the point of the stockpile. From that I'm creating my surface and I gave it the name stockpile 1000. Now in the Kogo function, I'm going to do a calcul uh, compute volume, so to uh, get the volume of my stockpile, and uh, simply as that, I will get the complete volume of my stockpile. Stay tuned for another video uh, to show you how to create a stockpile in uh, SketchUp.